Hi friends, I'd like to talk to you about something that I, I keep seeing on the internet and it's essentially a drinking chart and with the holidays coming up I know people will go out and drink at parties or at a bar or a restaurant or what have you and these charts give you or can give you a false sense of security in other words it looks like a graph and it'll say 160 pound person and it'll say a blood alcohol level connected to how many drinks and that's all fine and dandy but keep in mind those are general uh, that information is based upon general information or the average human being in terms of um, let's say weight and the amount of drinks in the last hour and whether you ate before you drank or not because that will affect your absorption rate your elimination rate so the point in this is those charts that you see please don't take them as gospel and I don't want any of the people that I know you folks to use those charts as a tool let's say well, the chart says I can have two drinks, I weigh 160 pounds, and I'll only be an 05 reading. That may not be the case, not to mention the fact if you're not drinking beer, let's say, and you're drinking red wine, and it happens to be a taller pour, like eight ounces, and by the way, a glass of wine, the pour should be four ounces. So there you go, you got like a double. Or if you're drinking hard liquor, and it happens to be a tall pour, a long pour by a bartender, that will affect those results too. So seeing those charts should not give you any security as to what your blood alcohol reading is after, let's say, two beers, two glasses of wine, two hard drinks, whatever. Don't use those. Safely drinking means, you know, I can't even say have one drink and call it a night because depending on your weight and whether you had a content, excuse me, a stomach full of contents, you know, like you just ate, that's going to affect your blood alcohol reading. And some people that are small, especially tiny women, one glass of wine can affect them and put them over an 08. Safe thing to do, call Uber, call a cab, just don't drink and drive because if you're accused of it, even though you may not be impaired, you're still going to have to make your fight in a courtroom and it's still going to cost you money through an attorney and if by God you end up being found guilty when in fact you weren't impaired, then it's going to affect you for at least five years in terms of your driving record, your insurance, your driver's license and it could also it'll end up being a criminal record for the rest of your life. So my word for advice is don't drink and drive, especially during the holidays with the DUI patrols. Thank you. This posted video is in no way specific legal advice on any subject. It is intended to provide general information for the public. If you need specific legal advice, call Chuck at 480-545-0700.